Now then, and welcome back to Forever Stranded with Nemson. How you doing? Um, I'm starving, basically I'm starving. I've got apple that gives me no hunger, and I've got some jerky that gives me pretty much nothing as well. But, <laughs> but... I'm not bitter. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'm actually working on a little project at the minute, just around here. I'm just tidying the base up a little bit. I want to work out, uh, move cactus further out. I also want to go over a load of bits and pieces today. Um, without advancing too much today, I want to work on a few bits and pieces that people have been leaving in the comments down below. Now, I made my first three episodes all back-to-back, -back, all in one session, because it was so much fun, I just carried on recording. And there wasn't a lot of, I will do this before next episode kind of stuff in between. It was just, let's get on with the game, and let's play through, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Uh, and thank you all very much for your comments, it was great. A lot of things, it seems that I have done right. A lot of things, everyone seems to agree, is okay and everything good. But quite a few people have been like pointing out what should be obvious. Um, pointing out the obvious to me. Uh, and it wasn't obvious to me before they pointed it out. <laughs> um, uh, I knew people were saying in the comments that he can get cactus weapons. People such as John Smith. Yes, name and shame time, John Smith. Uh, John Smith pointed out that you can make cactus tinkers weapons. That's a good idea, yeah. That's a good idea. And that's one of the resources I've got right now, which I can start using straight away. So a Tinker's weapon. Tinker's tools, in fact. Why not? Let's do a full-on Tinker's tool set. Um, but there may be something else we can do before the end of the episode. Whether or not we want to do Tinker's sword um, instead of a wooden sword. I don't know. We'll find out. It's going to be repairable, at least. It does a little bit more damage. And I do need to kill some zombies. Um, but first, what have I been doing here? Look, mm -hmm. uh, not much has changed. I haven't expanded out much at all. I've expanded my trees a little. I've got a lot more dirt and planted a lot more saplings to get a lot more trees down there. To get a lot more dirt, to get a lot more saplings, to get a lot more trees down there. <laughs> and that's basically what I've been doing. A bit of tree farming and starving to death. Uh, and it, this one's got something in it. Okay, good. And now these barrels can come down. I'm actually working on an idea because frequently I'm over one side and I may get a monster spawn on the opposite side so going forwards as I'm expanding out my wall to give me more space I either need to light the place right which will require a little bit of a charcoal stickery uh, which I'm not sure if we have a fire in this do we have a campfire is there a campfire in tough as nails that I can use uh, yes logs 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 but it requires cobblestone so I can't do the cobblestone yet until I've done some sieving of sand. So we'll do that another time. Um, but I did notice that this stuff, this placeable sand layers, right? Actually, let me do F7 so you can see uh, where things can spawn. Actually prevent the spawning. So I'm thinking instead of like half slabbing the whole area, I just want to put a thin covering of sand across the entire area. And then that will stop the spawning happening inside my base. And it's really easy to pick up and put back down again. It seems also, let's see, 27 down to 26. Break it. it looks like two there, doesn't it? 28. It actually duplicates. It actually duplicates faster than anything else. And it, it duplicates. There, I'm up to 32. So I can duplicate this for some reason. I guess that's the thing that nobody really wants. Um, is extra layers of this sand stuff. And it doesn't really matter because it kind of dumps it every storm anyway. Uh, but for me, that's a, a pretty good way of stopping mobs from spawning around the area that I live in. And expanding it out later on into larger areas, which will be good as well. And anytime I need to come along to lay some new stuff down, I just go, right, I want to put these four down here. And so I shall put four barrels right here. Why, why can't I put barrels there? Why can't... Why can't I place the barrels? Okay. Whew. Thought that was a problem then. Um, I have moved onto a server now. So I've moved the whole mod pack onto a server. And now I'm playing single player on my own little server. Just so that day and night pass as normal and the trees will grow while I'm offline. I don't have to stand around in the water. 
I can uh, log off and leave it alone and go away and do something and everything will grow up while I'm gone and then I can come back to it a bit later on. So I'm happy with that and uh, I'm happy with this look. This is quite a good little setup I think. Nothing should be able to spawn and I can still come and use these things. Uh, yeah, I think you get the idea of what I'm doing over here. Okay, that's good. And cactus weapons will be a thing. Cactus tools. I need to do cactus tools. I also really, really need to eat something that isn't an apple. And I don't seem to have a lot because I haven't been out there killing the, the zombies. I haven't got any zombie jerky ready or anything like that. So I'm kind of struggling. And it was pointed out in a recent update that the hunger will now last between um, times we get killed. Uh, what was I going to put in here? Uh, I was going to put something in this. Yeah, I'll put it in this one, I suppose. I uh, will have all of this stuff. All the bits of chisel and bitsy things, the laboratory blocks and all that. It's all going to become very useful. Very useful in the future, right? And all of this placeable sand layers, very, very useful for the now. And all the sand that I'm taking up in order to place that will be all very useful when it comes to using the sieve. Oh, yes. Uh, and now before the sun comes up, can I use this? Yes. <laughs> it was also pointed out in the comments that the uh, by Kanajan, Kanajan, thank you very much, lava deco blocks from chisel bits actually work the same as standing in water. So you get the cooling down effect from liquid lava like this. I don't think there's anything that can be done about that. And I could just go out to the water pool, but at least that's there. Ego also spotted it and sent out a little tweety picture the other week uh, and let me know that way as well, which is good of him. Good of him. Uh, I think he's having fun playing the pack. I did actually offer Ego to come and join me on a server and play the pack together, but unfortunately he was busy. And now... Uh, now he's playing the pack anyway, and is busy playing the pack, <laughs> and having so much fun doing it. Yeah. Uh, so, nothing much else has changed around here. All of this was just where I dumped the sand blocks, but I'm going to have to dig it all up. I think I'm going to keep the wing and all that. I was actually thinking of knocking it all down and taking all the blocks in for, for keeping. Uh, and maybe letting the water spread out a little bit. The water doesn't spread out past these placeable sand layers. So I could have the water block just sitting there. And I can have many multiple water blocks just sitting there in amongst the sand layers. Preventing spawns, but also having little pockets where I can just go and walk through and cool down as I'm walking around. But I do feel like once the sun is up at a high peak, that if even if you get in water at the high noon sort of setup, your temperature still goes up. So you're best off staying out of water at the midday sun because it's all going to be far too hot. Uh, but let's see. I really need to get some food on the go. And to get food, I'm going to need some stone. Um, to Just to be able to make cactus soup and stuff like that, I'm going to need some metal and all that kind of stuff. So I really need to move on to making uh, the sieve work. And I should stop talking about it. Let's just get on with a sieve. And um, it's part on parcel of what we started the other day. So I've currently got the normal oak sieve, which was a few log planks and a couple of sticks, right? And then I need to put a um, sieve net in. I guess Ex Nihilio will show me what I can do with this. There we go. A silk mesh is just nine string, okay? So nine string. Ring. I think that's all we need to basically do one and the string I was getting from um, putting the silkworm into the tree leaves and then harvesting the tree leaves after they'd been infested properly. I don't think I've got a tree that's currently half infested. Now I've had a couple of trees that have been like steadily infested. Uh, while it's midday I'm going to come in here and do the, the sieving stuff. So I think I place that in there first. Yes, that looks like that's a good job. And then I place the sand blocks in and I will sieve the sand by right clicking and just holding down right click and then it will sieve it through and at the end of it I will get something. Like I've got some crushed iron ore and some crushed aluminium ore here. So while I'm digging up the place, getting all this sand, I can also be sieving uh, all the sand when I need to come indoors for a bit and picking up 
crushed aluminium ore and crushed iron ore. What I really want is a full chunk of iron ore. I would also like to get some dirt. To sieve some dirt as well. So we're going to work on that as well. Because sieving dirt gives us the cobblestone stuff. So all of that's all well and good. But actually, actually, actually. Can I sieve coarse dirt? I don't think I can sieve coarse dirt. That's probably the, the initial thing that we got. Coarse dirt? Yes, I can sieve coarse dirt. Okay. There's something special that we can get out of coarse dirt. Uh, I got a Certis Quartz crystal. Nice. And some small stones. Awesome. Small stones from dirt is exactly what we need. Uh, unfortunately, now, though, it is the midday sun. And I now need to... Uh, See about getting some of this sorted out. I've got melon seeds as well. Oh, melons! Oh, I can plant melons! Oh, I've got to plant some melons. Got to plant some melons. Uh, but I really need to get something from this lot in order to. Oh, I really want some crooks again now. I need some vegetable matter. There's some vegetable matter. And I've got cactuses. I've already used the cactuses over and over again. Oh, I'm burning up now. Burning up. Uh, I got the shocking. Is this going to make it go hotter or colder? It's actually going to make it go hotter. Okay, so midday sun. Let me splash this potion while you're here. Because then you can see what we're doing. I get heat resistance. Good, good. So that cool me down. Is it going to cool me down, heat resistance? Heat resistance is going to stop me from overheating. Uh, Any time today would be nice, heat resistance. Please. Hi. Any time today. Well, it's stopping me getting any more, I guess. There's something. Uh, I'll make a few more blocks of dirt, and hopefully we can get the cobble that we need in order to make the campfire, so that we can then cook cobble in a campfire and cook silkworms and complete quests and all that kind of stuff. That needs to do now. Uh, at this moment, you see, the sun's at its highest, and I was hoping that the water would do the same thing as it does every day. But look, it made my heat go up instead. So I even put this on to try and like cover it and see if that worked. But that didn't work either. Nope, that doesn't work either. All I can do is kind of just wait in the shade until night time or the sun goes down a little bit more. And once the sun starts going down, it'll get a bit cooler. And then I can relax a little bit. So while, while that's happening, I'm going to just... Uh, I'm actually going to take this sieve. And it's... Uh, things and put the sieve into here next to this and as soon as it's daytime ish I should be able to cool myself down in that water while doing a bit of sieving so I'm gonna sieve for a bit okay while I'm doing that a little bit of clarification yes uh, in episode 3 um, the comments told me that I should craft dirty water in a crafting grid thank you ego thank you thank you thank you uh, but once as soon as, literally, as soon as I'd finished recording the episode, maybe even during recording the episode, when I took a little break, I checked with GW Sheridan, and he said yes. Um, <laughs> it needs to be done in a crafting recipe. I also got Ditty Margo, uh, Ditty Margo, looking, look carefully at the quest titles. Says it's a crafting task. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. I used to be just as bad with the HQM. And Starburst98 says, read your book better. I will try. I promise. I will try. Uh, also, the killing task, killing zombies. I think it was Starburst98 that also pointed this out on episode one. That killing the zombies, uh, killing the husks, also counts for killing the zombies. So I've killed a total of 21 zombies. Which is nothing, is it? We need to do something about that. Because the zombie flesh and the zombies dropping iron is a big thing. Yes, a big thing. So Sean Stanley and Spellcheck both said use cactus to make dirt. Great idea. Awesome. I've been extending out my border a little bit uh, while replacing the sand with the placeable sand layers in the hopes that I can expand my territory out little bit by little bit and gain all these valuable resources at the same time. Um, by breaking the cactus layers down, of course, I'm growing the cactus each day and then breaking it... No. Growing the cactus each night and then breaking it down each day. That's the plan. Yeah. Uh, I really need to eat something different now, though. I really, really need to eat something different now because I'm going to die of hunger again. And hunger does not reset anymore. 
So I don't think I can get anything out of this. All that. Oh, I can get something out of rotten flesh. Wow. There's a turd up in there. I can get something out of rotten flesh to stop me starving to death. Uh, yeah, good. All right, well, I've got some dirt again. That's good. That's all I wanted to know. Yep, dirt. <laughs> Just getting some more dirt. Wow. So much stuff. I get plenty of stuff from this dirt, right? It's taken me a long while. It's taken me a, a very long while. But I've taken on board a th few things people have said about using cactus to make dirt. And we've been doing good. Also been moving the doors out slightly. All right, wait, 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 wait. Let me grab these. I want to plant some seeds. Let's see, I've got uh, four pieces of dirt. So we'll have one of seeds, one of carrots, uh, one of pumpkin, and one of potato. No, not pumpkin. Let's not do pumpkin yet. Let's do melon seed first. Um, pumpkins can be the next one. So we've got these, right? And I've been laying, uh, laying these things out a little bit more. And as you can see, they're growing up nicely. Now it's night time. They should be established well enough to keep them all at bay. Uh, but we do need to have some place to grow some crops. And I don't even have a, a hoe on me right now. But this little section here should be good enough, shouldn't it? Right? So let's dig this out from underneath here and under there. Right? And now if we go across here, uh, we should be able to put our seeds in these bits down here and they should remain irrigated shouldn't they uh let's just put them down here <laughs> oh look there's my blood everywhere you can, the blood doesn't show up oh, what was that is that something trying to kill me i still haven't made myself a cactus sword i will do but i haven't made a cactus sword yet because i'm still not in that urgent a need yet uh this could also be where i can chill or literally chill out a little bit. Uh, right, you. How do I make a hoe again? I think I'm gonna have to make a cactus. Uh, cactus. What do they call it when you can dig and chop and also hoe? Mattock. That's it. Cactus mattock. I think that's gonna be my best choice for this overall idea here. Okay, so that's carrot, potato. And we'll put the melon seeds there and break that off so the melon can grow onto there. Eventually. Eventually, eventually. Actually, I don't need that there. I suppose I could... No, I'm going to expand this out. So I'm going to leave that like that, yeah. This is my, uh, my little farming area now. Awesome. So while I'm sitting here, cooling down, I can also be growing some new foodstuffs. Uh, I'm not really thrilled with how my food types are coming along. I need to do something about that urgently. So one of the things that I can do is each morning I'm going to start doing the cactus farm, in particular the cactus farm, to make dirt. And when I get the dirt, then I'm going to try, 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 try to get some of this uh, small stones. And with the small stones, we're going to make... Uh, something to cook things in, hopefully. Hopefully something to cook things in. Uh, so we've got... Oh, seven. Seven cobble. So I cannot yet make a furnace. Uh, furnace. There is no cheaper furnaces, is there? Electric art furnaces. There's all sorts of different flavours of furnace right now, but that one in particular is an eight. So I've got to do a little bit more to get those and then I can also cook this iron ore now the iron ore should be I can turn it into this okay maybe it's a different way oh yeah that's it just just four just four just four makes crushed iron sand right and then I guess I can do my uh, making this into a hammer is it is it not like that any oh what did we do last time to make a hammer what did I do wrong? Put that at diagonal. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, now we've got a wooden hammer and this iron ore sand. And we can smash it and it'll give us this iron ore dust. And smash it again and we get some more iron ore dust. And then this iron ore dust stuff will, or this powdered iron ore, will turn into iron ore dust. And I don't think we can smash it any further, can we? 
No, we just get that. So then we can cook this. So there's a slight advantage in gaining all of these little bits, bit by bit. A slight advantage in gaining them, uh, which is good. So I'll just keep sieving the sand to get those things and then upgrading them into these powders. And then I'll be able to smelt the iron dust once I've got enough cobblestone. It's going to take a little bit of doing and I'm starving still. So we're really bad. Did I have any bones left? I did have some bones left. I don't know how much bone meal I can take out from that. 12. That might be enough to make a bit of bread, you know. So I've got a bit of wheat already. Might be enough to make something go happen. Have I got guys? In oh, I've got guys in here. Okay, so because of moving things out, I've now got uh, guys spawning with inside the area that I haven't yet laid the, uh, the the placeable sand layers down in. So maybe I should build myself a cactus sword right now. Okay, well, I'm going to go with the cactus um, mattock. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about what I was saying earlier, and I was thinking... Actually, no, I did have a better plan, didn't I? Because the Matok is quite good at attacking as well. Slightly cheaper. I don't know. No, this doesn't work anymore, does it? So we do need to have that as well. I, I didn't know if the, you needed a tool rod or not. Uh, can I do a wooden tool rod? I suppose I could do a wooden tool rod. Make it ecologically more uh, efficient. And take a Cactus Matok. A prickly thing indeed. Uh, its attack is 6.76. 6.76. That's the same attack as about a diamond sword, isn't it? Uh, I mean, this is attack 3.46. Big hammers and stuff take less than that. What would a cactus sword be? Let's have a look at a cactus sword. Uh, no, uh, to get off hammer first. Sword. Uh, a full-on cactus longsword would be... 5.29 attack damage. This is 6.76 attack damage. It's ecological and prickly. Swordy, swordy, swordy. It's ecological and prickly. And I can use it not only for chopping down trees, but also for digging. Uh, and I can also hoe, I think. I think we can hoe as well with it. Uh, and I'm repairing it now with uh, cactuses. Which is awesome. Aha! Husky. Come here, Husky. Smack. How do you like that? How do you like that? Still three hits for a husk. But they had a higher difficulty or something than they should be. Ow! No! 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 Did not expect you to be behind me. I really gotta get the floor laid around these areas. Because these odd blocks around here are where they're spawning now. They're spawning around here while I'm off in a different direction somewhere. Uh, right, bone meal. Let's get this sorted out. Are they close by? Nope, they're all disappearing in the storm. Awesome. Okay, potato, carrot. Let's get some carrots. Haven't had any carrots for a while, so let's get some carrots in. Uh, did the carrots just blow away in the wind? Or did I get all seven? I think I got all seven. Okay, so now we can eat carrots and they will be nutritional for a little while nutritional 42% nutritional right and now they are no longer nutritional let's see can we get the wheat farm growing just use that last little bone meal on that okay oh, man we, we've got a time of it we've got a time of it I've just got lots more of this to do really haven't I just the same same old same old I'll bring you back in the next episode with something new. Uh, how much is Apple now? Apple, I get 48% Apple now. Good, good. Yeah. And now morning has come and everybody's dead. I can go out and replace the cactus wall and make some more dirt. And, and maybe this sandstorm will actually start covering. It is kind of covering, isn't it? It does cover. The sand will cover itself. Which means the spawnable areas will be less spawnable. I wonder if it's doing that out there as well. Just to make it so that it, they can't spawn out there. That would be cool if they are. I don't know though. It doesn't seem to be bringing, putting anything down here does it? It might only be where it can collect up. Which would be a very good cool mechanic wouldn't it? Yes indeedy. Alright well anyway. 
I think that's all for today's episode. I've been through the comments and hopefully I've given you a little mention. Thank you very much for your comments. I do appreciate having all your comments. I will get through another couple that I've already written down but aren't relevant just yet. I will get through those in the next episode, maybe. Or I'll get through in an episode that is relevant anyway. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. I'll see you in the next episode of Forever Stranded. Thank you very much and goodbye.